I just wanted to touch on this particular story because it involves former President Trump and New York Attorney General Letitia James. This is the political news I wanted to touch on. It's where former President Donald Trump got a break today. An appeals court ruled Trump will not have to immediately post a bond of more than $454 million in the civil fraud case against him and his company. The court ruled Trump can delay the payment of the full bond for now while he appeals the case under the condition that he posts a $175 million partial bond within seven day, within 10 days. I'm sorry. The February 16th judgment against the 2024 GOP nominee is one of four trials Trump is facing heading into the election. In this one, he's charged with manipulating his net worth and his family real estate company's property values to dupe lenders and insurers. This morning, Trump wrote on his Truth Social that the number the judge set was, quote, fraudulent and tweeted, it should be zero. I did nothing wrong. Needless to say, Letitia James had her own version of things long before Trump spoke this morning. In February, after the ruling to pay the $454 million, this is what she had to say. Everyone must play by the same rules. We have a responsibility to protect the integrity of the marketplace. And for years, Donald Trump engaged in deceptive business practices and tremendous fraud. Donald Trump and the other defendants were ordered to pay $463.9 million. That represents $363.9 million in disgorgement, plus $100 million in interest, which will continue to increase every single day. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I understand on one hand, you can perceive her as just doing her job. And I'm not going to lie to you. If you're a sister, a black woman in that position, I'm inclined to give you the benefit of the doubt because I want to. But that doesn't mean I always can. And in this particular situation, since you came into the job declaring your fixation on taking the former president down, and you see some of the things that's transpiring. I actually think Letitia James got a break today because if the judge had ruled that Trump's properties could be seized because he couldn't post bond on a $454 million and you saw chains wrapped around the doors of Trump Plaza or any of his properties, he would have used it for his campaign. He would have used it to galvanize the troops to make everybody know that guess what? This dude, right? these people right here are trying to take me down. They're trying to manipulate the campaign. They know they can't beat me. So they're engaging in lawfare because they can't beat me straight up in the campaign. They're trying all of these criminal charges to throw against me, whether it's criminal or civil, it doesn't matter. Anything they can to compromise me, to distract me, to avert, to avert having to go up against me. That's what they want to do. And ladies and gentlemen, tens of millions of people would have agreed with them. The worst thing that the state of New York or Georgia or any place anybody has a case against Donald Trump, there are four, there are, there are four indictments, 91 counts, at least initially from months ago, that were against him. All of these things that have been going on, all of these court cases. There are two different court cases in New York today alone. All these things that have been doing, they've been doing. He's still the GOP nominee, the presumptive GOP nominee. He's ahead in the polls against Biden. The momentum has shifted in his direction. And I couldn't agree with noted pollster the one and only Frank Lutz, days ago, when he had this to say about the possibility of Trump's properties being seized and the kind of impact it would have absolutely positively had on his campaign for the presidency of the United States. Let me, let me, let me show it to you for yourself. Read it for yourself. There it is. Franklin said it best. It would be the worst, most stupidest thing 
the left could possibly do. And it would end their chances of knocking off Trump and winning the presidency again. Trump had cameras at the ready, I believe. If they had voted against him, if they had not elected to grant him that 10-day reprieve to come up with $175 million, if they had done something along those lines, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, they had to pay the price. He would have went up in the polls, and he would have had more campaign dollars in his coffers. And by the way, his truth social platform, they saying that's going to be like worth like $6 billion and $3 billion for him which means he's expected to have the money to pay. You know how that happens, ladies and gentlemen? When you're running for the presidency of the United States and you got a chance to win, people line up to do you favors because they're expecting a return on their investment. If anyone knows how to milk that, it's Trump. Haven't you learned that by now? If you hadn't, or haven't, you should be ashamed of yourself.